Good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. So what did you do to prepare to get here this morning in terms of, did you have a coffee? Do you need a coffee? Do you need food? I naturally feel like I have coffee in my blood. So I just woke up, had a nice little shower, creamed myself. Moisturization is important, you know, put in all the dry places. And I feel ready, refreshed and revived. You didn't need to have any coffee. Coffee's already in your blood. Coffee's in my blood, honey. Yeah. I think I need a bit of that. How do you, how do you go about that? <laughs> it just happened, you know, when I was in the womb, something took place there. It's inherited. Exactly. And here we are today. I don't make the rules. I know, right. <laughs> so obviously this show is all about Christmas. It's not even December yet, but it gets us feeling Christmassy. So generally in a bit on the build up to Christmas, what makes you feel Christmassy? Do you know what makes you feel Christmassy is the adverts. Like the food adverts, basically like the pigs in the blanket, the roast potatoes, the chicken glaze. I'm actually, my mouth is starting to water a little bit, but you know what I mean. So it's kind of in the super, the adverts and then in the supermarket, seeing the food ready. Exactly, because I'm a foodie, so like my life revolves around food. Anything where there's food, I'm probably there. Yeah. So in terms of Christmas food, what is your favorite Christmas food? Can I be honest with you? I love everything. And I'm someone that's actually against gravy. Like, I don't feel like my plate should be an ocean or a sea or swamps. I feel like it's just the dry food and then a bit of ketchup. You just want to enjoy that food and not smother it in gravy. Yeah, it makes sense. Exactly. You understand me. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I know it makes sense because if you've got five food items and you put gravy all over it, it's just gravy, really. You know what I mean? And then you have to find out what's under the gravy. It makes life harder. Just have a bit of ketchup on the side. You can see everything. It's a Christmas stew. Yeah. <laughs> so, also in terms of Christmas, um, Christmas songs, what's your ultimate Christmas song? Oh my goodness, I know there's a Mariah Carey one, I can't remember it now, but that song, what is it? Sing it for me, sing it for me. Um, oh, 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 sing it with me! Oh, I'm not a good singer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. I'm just thinking about the first bit, the first few seconds, like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Mariah. So that is the one. That's the one. So when you hear that in the supermarket and it's the first time you hear it, how tempted are you to break into dance? Mm, scale of one to ten, probably eleven. Oh wow. But only if it's in December. If you're playing that song October, July, it's not acceptable. You've got to wait till December. Yeah, it's gonna all match up. Everything's gonna be right. Exactly. You got to hold the horsey. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously you worked on the show. Yes, sir. Uh, did you see any of the reactions as you were doing the show, the kids' reactions? Do you know what? I didn't see them because I was backstage in the wing, but I could hear them. Like I could hear the laughter when there was meant to be a joke or whatever. Or I could hear people like joining in with the actions as well. And I think that's what makes the show so special is that if you're an adult, if you're a child, you can still relate to it. Even me, I'm 20-something, I'm not going to say my age, but when I was watching it um, in rehearsals, I was getting a bit emotional because I was like, the whole essence of this show is like making wishes enjoying Christmas and I was like this is incredible and people are going to love it well today hopefully you'll get to see different reactions from a whole mix of people exactly. so that's going to feel a lot special exactly I think it's going to really bring it to life as well because when you've been rehearsing and there's no laughter there or the, you know when kids are going to enjoy it and then when it's all put together it's like wow this is actually why we did it it's all for children yeah so final question do you like Christmas panto yeah and if so what is your favourite Christmas panto Firstly, I can't say no. Um, secondly, my favourite Christmas panto is The Night Before Christmas. Of course. Featuring me. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us this morning. I feel like you're fully in the Christmas mood, as am I. Um, and after today, I feel like we're going to have 110% of more people in the Christmas mood. Do you know what? Thank you. Because you know oh. my day. Oh, thank you so much. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Great Christmas. You too. Take care.